be sure to subscribe for more content. Hey guys and girls, so today we're gonna to be talking about Luna Classic and where I think this coin is gonna go in the near future. Of course, make sure you subscribe to this channel where we do where we report on these coins and their pumps before the mainstream media gets to them. So want to get in early, make sure you subscribe to this channel. So if you want the news earlier, make sure you subscribe to this channel as I do post three, four videos every single day. So basically we're here right now on Luna Classic and we have been seeing this downtrend. We lost a major support um, right off the bat and our support is where the price does bounce from um, and it looks kind of something like this so we saw a major test in this region here we saw a very quick test in this region and then we saw a test in this region as well before finally losing the support and crashing below but it's not all bad news because although the price has gone down with a bit of momentum as you can see here and this red candle is starting to come back up again and maybe it's gonna be retesting this support. So that is a good sign. Maybe we can come above to the support and flip bullish once again. However, we do need to do a few things before we turn bullish again on this coin. And one of the major things that I'm seeing right now is this line of resistance. Is a resistance has been going down ever since from the top here. And it is quite a strong resistance for this coin. We've got a few tests along the way down here, as you can see. And now we really have to flip this in order to be bullish again. So, so at the moment, basically, what I'm trying to say is we're in this downtrend and to get out of this downtrend into an uptrend, we do need to flip this resistance here. So the price needs to do something like this to come up, to come up past that resistance and then past this support as well. And if it can do something like that, then that would be very bullish. Now, of course, if it doesn't do that, then I think we could continue seeing this downtrend and some price targets that I'm really looking for have to do with the Fibonacci numbers. So if we just paint the Fib from where it started pumping at the end of August to its maximum all time high here, uh, at 59 cents you can see that at the moment we're in a very important level this is literally halfway up the pump and it's very very similar actually for luna terra 2.0 as well so the newer version of luna classic we're literally hovering around the 0.5 fib as we speak right now with price so this is a very important level the 0.5 fib uh, and this is a level that Luna Classic momentarily dipped under, but it looks like we're consolidating in this region, which is good. We wanna see Luna Classic hold this level because the next price below it, if we cannot hold this 37, 38 cents region here, would be 32 cents. And of course, if we fell down to that region, we could probably see a drop here of another 13%. But right now I am not buying, I am holding at the moment. And uh, like I say, I wanna see the price flip this resistance is light blue resistance here. I, and I'll be keeping my eye on what happens when it comes up to the support. If the price can make it up to this level, to this previous support line, for example, what might happen is that it tests it and then comes back down again, because this is quite common when a big line of support is broken. It dips underneath, comes back up to test it. Uh, and then if it does drop back down, then, it, then it's a confirmed bearish reaction to this previous support line and we could see the price drop a few fib levels down to 32 cents maybe even further down to 25 cents which would be you know the first consolidation period that we had after the big pump at the end of august that we saw so so watch out for these fib levels guys i think if we can't hold the 38 cents level 37 cents level then our next stop will be 32 following this bearish channel that we see but if i pin that a different color so it's a little bit clearer so as I was saying, if we cannot flip this resistance here, we can see ourselves following this bearish channel all the way down to 32 cents. And if 32 cents doesn't stop us, then I expect a lot, a lot of resistance, a lot of support at the 25 cents mark. So basically the downside right now could be all the way down here before we can see something a little bit more bullish. However, I'm keeping my eye on this level very closely. I think we want to see, what we really want to see is the price respect this 38 cents Fibonacci, the 0.5 Fib, and we wanna see it break out through this resistance here, going in an upwards direction. Sorry, this is a little bit messy. In fact, let me clear that up. We want to see the price do something like this where it breaks through the resistance and then continues on its way up. So realistically, this is the one hour chart. So we've got a deadline actually, which is quite nice, of around eight, nine o'clock UTC tomorrow. Um, so that'll be about midnight Pacific time and about 3 a.m. Eastern time. So basically by the end of today, by the start of tomorrow, we should see a decision by Luna Classic as to whether it's gonna respect this 38 cents level, the 0.5 FIP, 
and potentially break this resistance on the upside uh, or if the price loses its support at 0.38 and starts crashing down once again so, so a very interesting level that we find ourselves at at the moment in summary the bullish case i think for luna classic will be that we flip this resistance here and we are aiming for this 42 cents price level hopefully we can flip the support as well and make it uh and that it can continue being our support. Um, and if we can get to 42 cents and we can get there with some momentum, then we could probably go higher than that as well. However, the bearish case will be that we fall below this fib at 38, 37, and we fall all the way down to 32, and that this support here and this resistance here is respected so that we are falling, we are in the downtrend within this channel here. So at the moment, I'm holding on to Luna Classic until a decision here is made. I'm looking at this fib here and I'm looking at this resistance here as a sort of triangle you know i'd want to see the price kind of consolidate in this region it doesn't have to be perfect uh, for the fib but if we see strong momentum if we see this volume down here increase a lot um, as the price reacts to this resistance level here then um, then I'll be trading on that selling if it goes down or buying if it starts going up. So that's what I'm looking at right now in Luna Classic. I'm still hopeful for this coin to continue going up. The burn tax of 1.2% is still there. It's still being supported by major exchanges such as KuCoin and Binance. And therefore, if the supply is being reduced, then we can see this coin go up in price just down to simple supply and demand. So there's still a big bullish case for this coin. Obviously, Obviously, there are going to be hurdles to overcome as well. This, this coin has to find a use case. Otherwise, no one will use this coin and the transactions will go down and therefore less will be burnt. So still excited to see where Luna Classic is going to go over these next few days. Everything in the markets are looking up. Bitcoin is up 14% from over just a few days ago. Some altcoins such as Solana are up over 20%. So so there is a lot of upwards momentums in crypto and stocks. This could also translate into Luna Classic as well as Luna 2.0 as well. So very exciting for the future. That's all I have to say in this video, really. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.